Hi friends! Welcome back to Preschool Storytime from the Long Beach Public Library. I'm your storyteller, Miss Shana, and today we're going to start by saying hello to our hands. Hello, hands. Goodbye, hands. Hello, hands. Goodbye, hands. My hands are feeling shy today, but now they're feeling better. Let's say hello to our toes. Hello, toes. Goodbye, toes. Hello, toes. Goodbye, toes. My toes are feeling shy today, but now they're feeling better. Let's say hello to our face. Hello, face. Goodbye, face. Hello, face. Goodbye, face. My face is feeling shy today, but now it's feeling better. What beautiful big smiles you all have. Do you hear that? It's a story time fairy. Hi, story time fairy. Did you bring us a basket today? Oh, wow, thank you. This is a big, heavy basket. I wonder what's inside. Thank you, Storytime Fairy. Oh, boy. Let's see what's in here. Looks like we have some... <gasps> what could this be? Perhaps... Hmm, a handkerchief? A chew! Hmm, no. Maybe a blanket? Perhaps. Or what if. What'd you say? Snow? Well, that's a great idea. Maybe it's snow. Let's see what else is in the basket. Oh my goodness, there's something in here. There's something really big in here. Oh! What is that? Hmm. It looks to me like this is a cave. So we have some snow and a cave. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what else is in the story time basket. A little tree. Hmm. I wonder what that could be for. It looks like we're making a little winter scene here, huh? So we've got a cave and a tree and some snow. And what else? A little bear. I know, the bear is getting ready to hibernate or go to sleep for the winter. Oh, that must be what our story time is about. Hello, little bear. Isn't he cute? Well, he's probably getting tired though. Let's all say goodnight to the bear. Good night, bear. Shh. Today's very good story is called Sleep, Big Bear Sleep. It's written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. Old man winter from a storm cloud spied, his big bear friend in the countryside. You see old man winter up here in the clouds blowing wind. He leaned to the earth and softly sighed. Sleep, big bear, sleep. But big bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. 
He thought he heard as twilight fell, drive a Jeep, Big Bear, drive a Jeep. So Big Bear yawned as he drove around in a Jeep on a road just south of town. Have you ever seen a bear driving a Jeep? Bears don't do that, right? But after a while, he stopped in a park. An old man whispered as it grew dark, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as dry leaves fell. Sweep, Big Bear, sweep. So Big Bear went to a house down the street and swept each room so nice and neat. See him in there sweeping the floors? I wish a bear would come to my house and sweep my floors. <laughs> but after a while, he yawned and said, Old Man Winter warned his friend, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as shadows fell. Leap, Big Bear, leap! So Big Bear found a frog he knew and played leapfrog while the cold wind blew till all at once he fell to the ground. The wind through the trees was the only sound. An old man winter said with a frown, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep! But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as darkness fell. Dive deep, Big Bear, dive deep! So Big Bear padded to a clear blue lake, finding it hard to stay awake. He's getting very sleepy, isn't he? Look. Oh. He dove in deep and he swam to the shore. He had never been so very tired before. His head dropped down and he let out a snore. An old man winter said once more, Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Big Bear didn't hear very well. He couldn't sleep in his den in the dell. He thought he heard as snowflakes fell. Climb a mountain steep, Big Bear, steep. So Big Bear trudged to the mountain top where the cold winds blew and the temperature dropped. He sat on a stump on the highest spot and wished for a blanket and a fold up cot. Then he stumbled back down with his eyes half shut. So tired he didn't know which end was up. Old man yelled while shaking his head. Hey there, bear, did you hear what I said? It's winter time, now go to bed. Does it look like bear heard him this time? <laughs> Big bear's eyes were droopy and red. You could have told me before, he said. He lumbered nearby to his cozy den, rubbed his eyes, and yawned again. He put on his PJs and blew out the light, and fluffing his pillow, he said, Good night. And look, he has his little teddy bear with him, too. The end. Do you know what bears like to eat? Depends what kind of bear it is, right? What are some different kinds of bears that you know about? And what are some of the things that those bears like to eat? 
happen to have some of those things here. I believe I heard some of you say berries. And some of you might have said bamboo. I know I heard some of you say honey. And some of you maybe even thought of fish. Well, this looks like a feast for a bear picnic. Let's invite some bears, shall we? Our first bear has black and white spots. Do you know what kind of bear that is? A panda bear, that's right. There's a panda bear in the weeds looking for some food. There's a panda bear in the weeds looking for some food. Panda bear in the weeds looking for some food. Munching on some most delicious bamboo. Crunch, crunch. Let's invite another bear to the picnic, shall we? Grrr. Ooh, is that a grizzly bear? There's a grizzly bear in the trees, climbing very high. There's a grizzly bear in the trees, climbing very high. Grizzly bear in the trees, climbing very high. Eating some most delicious honey. Mm -mm, that's right, he climbs up way in the trees to look for beehives for a sweet treat. Let's invite another bear to our picnic. Ooh, do you know what kind of bear that could be? A black bear. I've seen black bears while camping in Sequoia before. They like to eat human food sometimes, <laughs> but this little bear is gonna be in the shrubs looking for some sweet treats, okay? There's a black bear in the shrubs looking for some treats. There's a black bear in the shrubs looking for some treats. Black bear in the shrubs looking for some treats. Eating some juicy ripe berries. Mm -mm. All right, let's invite another bear to our picnic. This bear has white fur. I bet you know what bear that is. A polar bear, that's right. And polar bears live where it's very cold, right? There's a polar bear on the ice looking for some food. There's a polar bear on the ice looking for some food. Polar bear on the ice looking for some food, eating some most delicious fish. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I say it's time we go looking for a bear. What do you say? Let's go on a bear hunt. Got your binoculars ready? Here we go. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. Are you ready? Okay. Get your binoculars out. Oh, some grass. Some long wavy grass. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We'll have to go through it. Here we go. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. Are you ready? Okay. Get those binoculars. <gasps> hmm. A river. A deep deep river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. You ready? Splish, 
splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Woo, we did it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. Are you ready? Okay. Get those binoculars. Ooh, a forest. A deep, dark forest. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We'll have to go through it. Ready? Oh, look out for all the branches. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Whew, we made it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. Are you ready? Okay. Get those binoculars. Hmm. Looks like a snowstorm is upon us. Oh dear. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We'll have to go through it. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wow. That was cold. Ah, oh, but the storm is over. And we're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. Are you ready? Okay. Get those binoculars. Oh. Do you see what I see? A cave. Should we go inside? I mean, we can't go under it. We can't go over it. We could go around it, but let's go in it. You ready? Here we go. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Ooh, it's getting dark in here. Can you see? I can't see anything in here. Oh, but I think I hear something over here. Shh. Oh, sounds like something's sleeping. Let's use our hands to find our way. Oh, I feel the cold, damp walls of this cave. Oh, I feel something sort of warm and furry over here. Oh, it's got cute little ears and a little nose and some <gasps> sharp teeth. Grrr. Oh no, it's a bear. Quick, back out of the cave. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe through the snowstorm. Oh, through the forest. Stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip, stumble trip. Back through the river. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Through the grass. Swish, 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 swish. Open the front door. Run up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to close the front door. Back down the stairs. Close the door. Slam. Lock it. Look. Back up the stairs. Jump into bed. Whew. And now we're safe. And we're never going on a bear hunt again. Mm-mm. <laughs> Thanks for reading with me today, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.